Welcome to Upside Down Country. That's what this area was called during the gold rush and it's the site of the beautiful Canterbury Park Gardens and the many surrounding attractions. Hi, I'm Grace. I'm a gardener with the City of Greater Bendigo and I'm going to show you around the beautiful Canterbury Park Gardens. Canterbury Park is situated in Eagle Hawk, which is just a short drive from the centre of Bendigo. I'm excited to start here at this holly tree that was planted in 1910. It's one of our oldest species in the garden and it's looking really good at the moment. It's just about to flower, so make sure you check it out when you come down here. The Canterbury Gardens were proposed in 1870 and then they were constructed in 1873, post gold rush era. To the Aboriginal people of the area, this area was considered upside down country. And that was because it was turned upside down during the gold rush. Eagle Hawk is just another name for a wedged tailed eagle. It just so happens that Joseph Crook was searching for gold in the area and when he found a big piece, he picked it up and as he did, he saw an Eagle Hawk fly over his area and named the town accordingly. Now this garden is a cottage style and quite formal. As you can see, we've got our wrought iron fence here, which was erected just after it was built, but it has been changed a little bit over the years. Here in Canterbury Park, we have our new raised garden bed displays, but at the moment we have our California poppies looking really good. We have some really cool heritage trees here. For example, this one here is probably 40 or 50 years old. It's a Pinus canariensis and it is so gorgeous. But this one here is awesome because it's got a lovely shape and provides heaps of shade. This is another one of our heritage trees here, a Melaleuca or a paperback. The kids really love playing on them and pulling the bark off and drawing on it. This is just a different species, but yeah, they're both quite old in this park. One of the most special things about Canterbury Park Gardens is the perennial display that we have. It's always here and it has been curated over years by our really fantastic gardeners here who look after it and tend to it every single day. For example, we have these beautiful salvia here which are in flower at the moment. They're just about to finish. Also some artichoke, which you can eat, but maybe don't. So this here fountain was a gift from ex-Mayor Kirkwood. It was originally placed in the front of the garden, but it's since been moved to here so that you can get a really good view when you walk in the garden of the fountain and the beautiful beds either side. So in Canterbury Park, we have a mixture of perennials and annuals. And for those who don't know, annuals complete their life cycle in one year. Perennials can be up to three years. So here we have a good example. We have got a wallflower that is a perennial, it's self seed, so it just keeps going and going. And here we have some pansies and they are an annual. So they will finish their life cycle, they'll be pulled out and composted. Canterbury Gardens is a really special place and that's because of the community around it. The people that enjoy this space really make it what it is. And it's proximity to the really lovely streetscape out there is just so amazing. Like you can just walk a hundred meters and get a cup of coffee and catch up with an old friend. It's really amazing. As part of the precinct here, we have a sports oval to use just behind me. We've got Lake Tom Thumb. We've got Lake Nianga. Just across the road, we've got the Star Cinema that feature heaps of cool films. And then a little further out, we've got the Whipstick and we've got the Great Stupa that hold festivals and all sorts of things. So make sure you check those out when you come out to Eagle Hawk for a visit. At Canterbury Park, we're pretty well known for our dahlias. And although this one doesn't look like much now, it will come March. This in specific is a tree dahlia these aren't the ones that we have on most of our display, but this one sneaks up here in the shade. The Dahlia and Arts Festival happens every year around March. We see hundreds of different varieties on display throughout town of Eagle Hawk. It's just beautiful. There's heaps to do throughout the Dahlia and Arts Festival. We've got cultural events in the park. We've got a big parade down the main street. We've got arts on show everywhere and heaps of delicious food available for people to come and try. We're here in between Lake Tom Thumb and Lake Nianga, just off the footpath that goes around the lake. 
We've got a number of native garden beds that have these lovely billy buttons just about to flower and also species of trees like Angophora and lots of acacias and malaleucas, so come and check those out. We're here at Lake Tom Thumb. It's across the road from Lake Nianga and the rest of Canterbury Park. And it's also part of the Eagle Hawk Garden Precinct. It's an awesome place for walking, running, if you're into that sort of thing, cycling and picnicking with the family. But also it's a really important place where the Natural Reserves team of Bendigo Council do a lot of their regeneration projects, where they like to create a new space for endangered animals or wildlife who's lost their natural habitats to then then come and live somewhere safely. We've got a lot of native birds and wildlife that call this place home. Not only here, but over at Lake Nianga, we've got black-crested cockatoos, swans, and lots of ducklings and ducks at this time of year. So we're here now at Lake Nianga, and Lake Nianga is a really important place for wildlife, and also it is an important place for the indigenous people of the area because Nianga actually translates to resting place. Now I can assure you that the kids on the playground aren't doing any resting right now, but maybe the parents are at the barbecues. Next to me here, we also have the leisure center, which has got a gym and a pool. It's a great place to take your kids, as well as the playground. Now the playground was built in 2018 and it is an award-winning space done by our in-house designers and it's looking so good at the moment, filled with kids. If you look at it from the sky, it actually looks like an eagle hawk, so that's pretty cool too. Another fun fact about this playground here is that it's based off Banjo Patterson's poem about Mulga Bill. The story of Mulga Bill is actually written throughout the playground and it ends with him headfirst in the lake. Thanks so much for joining me on this tour today. It's been a real pleasure to have you. I hope you can find time to get down here and explore the Eagle Hawk area and enjoy all it has to offer. Share your Eagle Hawk experience with us. We would love to see how you and your family use this space by using the hashtag ExploreBendigo.